Hey guys, my video today is going to be on PCOS um, and what women with PCOS want you to know about them and their PCOS. Um, so those of you who don't know what PCOS is, it's polyistic <laughs> ovarian cyst syndrome and I probably just butchered that. Anyways, um, so what it means is sometimes you get cysts on your ovaries, some women don't get cysts on their ovaries. Um, kind of like a hormone imbalance thing. There's a lot of other symptoms to it, um, but that is the gist of what it is. Um, so the first, there's like five things that I'm going to talk about um, that women with PCOS kind of want other women who don't know what it is or have it to kind of understand their family members, their husbands kind of thing. Um, most people that I tell that I have PCOS to either know what it is because they have it or have no idea what I'm talking about and are still super confused when I try to explain it. Um, but there's like, these are like the five major things that I would, I guess, tell people. Um, like I said, your hormones are kind of like all over the place. So you get like different weird symptom kind of things with that um, along with your like emotions roller coastering all over the place. Um, the second thing would be that periods can be very, very painful. Um, I remember in high school I had really bad like cramping, like super bad cramping. It's gotten a lot better um, as I've gotten older, but it was like very bad. Like I'd be heat packing all the time and I'd be probing. It was just not a fun time. It's gotten a lot better though. Um, Back to the hormone thing that I said, because I didn't touch on this. Um, some of those hormones can be like a lot of acne. I get a ton of acne. I covered it up pretty, hopefully pretty good for this video, but I get a ton of acne. You can also get like facial hair all, up, all over the place. Um, and off of that, my number three thing that I would say is that losing weight is a lot harder for women with PCOS kind of with the hormone thing. Um, I have yo-yoed my weight my entire life. Um, and it's just kind of always been a pretty big struggle. I did lose weight with the keto diet pretty well, or like Adkins, I've lost weight with both of those two because they're low carb, um, high protein, high fat, depending on which one you do. Um, so I found success with that, but it still is very hard to lose weight with PCOS. So um, a lot of women with PCOS end up getting to be like considered obese. They're not obese. You're beautiful. Anyways, um, but yeah, losing weight is a lot harder. Um, number four, not having your period when you have PCOS is terrifying because my number five is gonna be fertility is an extreme pain in the beep. Um, infertility goes pretty coincide with PCOS. Um, so when you want to get that positive pregnancy test over and over and over and over again, and you just don't get a period that month, or your period decides to come three weeks late, two weeks late, then all of a sudden it's like a week early. Um, for me, at least that's what happens. My PCOS makes my period all over the place. I try to track it. I use Ovia, I think is what it's called, the Ovia app, um, to try and track it and stuff, but it makes getting pregnant very hard. So when you miss your period, you get super excited thinking you're pregnant and it's like, oh no, you're not pregnant. You're just not going to have a period this month and it's going to be two times worse next month. It really sucks. Um, but yeah, so it's terrifying, exciting. You don't know something else is wrong going on. You don't know if you're getting like a cyst. I personally never had cysts. I heard that they're horrible and extremely painful. Hoping I never get one. Sorry for y'all that have because it sounds horrible. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to number five, the fertility is very frustrating. Like I said, for me, it took us 
a very long time to get pregnant. Um, I've made a video about, a couple videos about that, how it took over two years. Um, I had a miscarriage and then got pregnant again and currently am pregnant. Um, but it took us over two, year, uh, two years to get pregnant trying. And before that we weren't really preventing, just nothing was happening because of my PCOS. Um, and the ovulation being all over the place. So it can be very frustrating. You always have those family members and friends that are like, oh, when are you going to get pregnant? Or when are you guys starting a family? And da 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 da. And you're like, we've been trying for two years. But you're just like, oh, I don't know. So those are my top five things. They're the things that I would tell people who are family members, spouses, friends of women. Because like I said, it can be can be overwhelming when people are asking you when you're gonna have a baby and you're struggling very hard to get pregnant um yeah or other things to do with it so I hope this video is helpful um, comment down below if you have any experience or anything else that you would suggest telling people um, subscribe if you haven't and have a great day bye guys